Hi, my name is Steve Fuse, and welcome to my channel where I discuss all things related to financial services, the products, the compensation plans, the IMOs. We compare the IMOs, and my standard is where I need to supply you third-party documentation. Documentation beats conversation. To prove my rhetoric and my rambling, I'm going to provide you the documentation, and then you decide what's best for you. Hey, listen, uh, I'm back. It's been, uh, I know that if you're watching a YouTube channel, you're watching the archives, you may not know, but there's been a little bit of space between the uh, the last uh, success principles uh, that work for uh, mortgage section and final expense agents. Because we've been moving into new offices, we are renovating the offices and we're creating a, a new studio for filming. And as you can tell, we're trying to up our game a little bit in 2019. Basically present an overall better image is what we're trying to do with 2019 because we've got a lot of plans for 2019. Seriously, I mean, a lot of things that we want to do, we are probably 20 or 30 videos behind. Let me make a special shout out to all of you. Call me, text me, email me. We get on the phone, we talk and discuss the industry. Uh, we talk about what you're going through and where I can possibly help. It makes me better uh, as a person and better equipped to help not only my agents, but more people that call me by having that conversation with one of you. So I appreciate that as well as the comments that you're leaving below. But again, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, mash that bell down here next to the subscribe button. That gives you instant notifications of videos that I'm putting up as well as my live streams. So we really try to equip all of you that either don't wanna leave where you're at or can't leave where you're at. That's why I developed this YouTube channel to begin with. I want you to be part of the community and enjoy and learn and be successful because we need you out there in the marketplace doing the right thing for the right reason for those families. So this week we're continuing like success principles at work for mortgage section and final expense agents particularly because I've designed it around our industry and our niche. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit ramped up this week because I, this is, to me, is by far and away the best module. This one speaks to my heart more than any of them. I deal with agents on an everyday basis. If you can't get the six inches of brain matter between your ears right, it doesn't matter how much you know about the products. It doesn't matter how well you're in the home, how great of an appointment setter you are. None of that matters because, look, we live in a skeptical, negative society. And uh, if you allow your brain, your mind to tell you how good you're going to be in this industry rather than you telling it, you won't make it. So we've got to control this. And that's what this series is about. Even though I'm very well aware that you didn't come to this channel for me to, to work with you on personal development. But I believe that product knowledge along with growing ourselves, not just, not just going through the trials and errors, but growing through those trials and errors, uh, you're going to become a better agent, better equipped to handle the things that come along in this business. Like, for example, going on appointments two hours away and they're not home multiple times in a row. That happens. Get numb to the process. People hanging up on you because they forgot they filled the form out. Or they swear up and down they didn't fill the form out. These are things that are normal in our business and it doesn't matter. As long as you're controlling this part right here, you can get past all those things and make six figures part-time and multiple six figures full-time. And it's worth it, but you've got to take care of this right here. So as I said, this is my favorite portion of the entire series, Success Principle number four. And we're going to break this up in a couple of videos because it's such an important module. So please slow it down, slow me down if you can, <laughs> and really dive into this material and learn as much as you possibly can. Success Principle number four is if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So let's get going. So here's your takeaway right out of the gate. Our thoughts create our success and our failures. Wow, this is something that I've been conscious of for most of my adult life. Words matter, and some of you should write this down. As I said a minute ago, some of you need to start talking to yourself and stop listening to yourself. Stop using words that weaken you. We're going to discuss the following on the next couple of videos. One, behaviors and actions. Two, feelings, three, attitudes, four, beliefs, five, programming. So let's begin. Number one, behaviors and actions. Our actions most directly controls our future. It is what we do or do not do that creates our success or our failure. 
Why do we do what we do? What makes us act the way we act? If success is not becoming a reality in our lives, if we want to make calls, see the people, tell our story, live our dream life, but we don't, it is because of something else which affects, directs, influences, or controls all of our actions, which is number two, feelings. Every action we take is first filtered through our feelings, right? What we feel about something will determine what we do and how well we do it. Try me on this one next time you get in an argument with your spouse or your girlfriend, right? We filter everything. Every action we take is first filtered through our feelings. Ask yourself, what causes me to have these feelings? Did we get them by accident? What creates the way we feel about anything? Our feelings are created, controlled, determined, or influenced by our number three, attitudes. Our attitudes are the perspectives from which we view life. Whatever attitude we have will affect how we feel about something, which in turn determines how we will act. But where do we get our attitudes? Are we born with them? Do they just happen? Our attitudes are created, controlled, or influenced directly by our beliefs. Okay? What we believe about something will determine our attitude. It will create our feelings and direct our actions. Belief does not require something to be true. It's a very, very important to understand, so I'll repeat it. Belief does not require something to be true. It only requires us to believe that it's true. Here's a good example. Turn the TV on and watch any news channel. It doesn't have to be true as long as we believe it. It only requires us to believe that it's true to affect our beliefs. Your belief about yourself will turn out to be true. Whether it is or not, your brain will not know the difference, right? We have to ask ourselves, did our beliefs just spring out of nowhere? Were they handed to us at birth or did we create them ourselves? Our beliefs are created and directed entirely by our programming, which is number five. We believe what we are programmed to believe, and these philosophies unconsciously direct every decision in our life, positive or negative. Key principle to write down and memorize. As a man or woman thinks in his heart, so is he or she. That's Proverbs 23, 7. So knowing that if our programming is why we believe what we do and those beliefs create our attitudes, which trigger our feelings and direct our behaviors and those behaviors and actions produce our success or failure, then obviously it's of colossal importance to set our programming right. Then it stands to reason and you and I both can agree and hopefully understand this, that it becomes of colossal importance to get our programming right. If you and I are not having the success that we want or desire, you have to start with the first step, which is changing our programming, which is changing the way that we think. So over the next couple of videos on this success principle alone, Let's pull up our sleeves and really get into this very, very important life-changing mental change. So advance to the next video, which will be Success Habits at Work, Success Principle 4B. As I close this out, do me a favor. I hope that you can see that I come to this channel and bring you a thousand percent of what I have. Good, better, and different. I'm doing the best I can to transfer the passion and enthusiasm of how important I believe that these success principles are. I met someone at a conference two weeks ago that, that ran up to me and told me how important videos and the training and the messaging is coming across on the channel that really was a difference maker in his life to stay in the business, stay in the game of mortgage section and final expense and keep pushing until he found success. I hope that's the case for the majority of you. The only way I know that is, number one, are you liking the video below, giving it a thumbs up? Are you commenting? Are you subscribing? Or are you sharing it out? 
that's the only reason why I ask you to share comments, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, mash the bell, and make comments so that I know that some of this material really is impacting your life. And if that's the case, then all of this is worth it. I appreciate you investing your time. I respect your time and the amount of time that you give me and yourself through growing yourself. I personally believe that you're worth it or I wouldn't be doing this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.